Milwaukee police need your help finding Fox 12's most wanted. Officers say a driver took off after hitting a two year old boy in a neighborhood street. That boy died in the hospital this afternoon. Fox 12's Kendra Kent is live where it's been a really tough night for the family and neighbors. Kendra. Yeah, that's right, Nora. It is just so heartbreaking. And I did briefly speak with a little boy's grandmother today, but understandably, the family is asking for privacy at this time. And here today in this neighborhood, you really could feel the pain among neighbors, among the police officers investigating this case. And now there is a memorial set up behind me here. We'll give you a look where they have some flowers and candles and stuffed animals to remember this little boy. It's a tragedy in Milwaukee. These flowers rest where a two year old boy was hit by a driver who took off. Police say the toddler died in the hospital. Now the race is on to track down the suspect and there's little information to go on. Instead, officers say they're hoping someone out there will come forward with information or video that will help them catch the driver who they say sped off here without stopping around noon Thursday off Southeast Wichita Avenue near Furwood Street. Innocent child lost their lives and never too coward to stop. Andre Harris is a neighbor who says he's seen the little boy and other children playing in front of their grandparents' home. He doesn't know the family well, but he's heartbroken. I feel bad for the parents, so I'll be praying for the family because I know that it's devastating to lose a kid because my wife lost her son. And Harris wonders if the boy's death could be a devastating consequence to a frustrating problem. He says drivers use the neighborhood street as a shortcut to get to other main roads. We have kids running down the street all the time riding bikes and people fly to here periodically all the time. So I was just praying that it would never happen, and today it did. For parents and grandparents here, it's the worst reminder of life's fragility. But with this new sign, there's some hope drivers will be more cautious. I just pray that they can find whoever did it and that they can get some kind of answers of why this happened. And Milwaukee police did initially say today that a white pickup truck was a truck of interest in this case. However, now they are saying that is not the case. They are saying that a white pickup truck was not involved in this hit and run. They are searching for new leads at this time, and they're asking anyone with any information, any videos, or if you know who did this to come forward and reach out to Milwaukee police. Reporting live tonight in Milwaukee, Kendra Kent, Fox 12 Oregon.